Hi, I'm Dave Hirschman, AOPA Media. We're about to go flying in the Super Petrel, a Brazilian-built light sport amphibian with a Rotax 915 engine that is a huge increase in power over the previous models. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. How many of these airplanes have been built and how many are in the U.S.? So a little over 400 have been built. There's, uh, there's about 52 in the United States. And now we're transitioning from the LS model to the XP model. And these two are the first two uh, that we have in the United States. Well, I've had an opportunity to fly a lot of fun airplanes in my life, but uh, there's nothing more pure fun than the Super Patrol to me. This one's got a big engine in it compared to its predecessors. What sort of uh, differences does that make in the airplane's performance? So the performance that uh, the 915 has over the 912 is on the water, basically. Uh, on the field, we're uh, 1430, which is a max for an amphibian for takeoff on the, on, on the field. But on the water, the 912 is, is uh, 1320, and it's just a, a matter of horsepower. Now with the new uh, 915, we're up to 1430 on the water and on the land. And uh, so it just gets up on the step and uh, has a lot more performance on the water. All set. All set. Here we go. So we're setting up for a water landing. So the gear is up. It indicates up. The bilge pump is coming on. The landing light, I bring it on anyway. So I'll do this. Once I touch down, I'm going to stabilize. So unlike a float plane, this airplane, when it touches down, you want to release the stick. So you want the airplane to go onto the step and not hold it off. If you hold it off, you've got all this wing. Thank you, Betty. And, it, and it tends to, it'll have a tendency to skip. So it's a pretty nice day. Really nice conditions. Yeah, perfect. Terrain, terrain, pull up. Thank you, Betty. 100. Or the radar altimeter. Yep. 40. 30. 20, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1. So now I'm just trying to, when I'm on it, I'm just trying to keep the wings level. So I'm using this on the horizon. Right. I'm going to go flying. 40, 41, start feeding a little bit of back stick in. It's going to take off right about 50. There it goes. I lower the nose just to get 60 and then just climb out. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50. Nice. That's interesting because I'm, you know, I'm used to the float planes where you go full back stick. Yes. You know, when, anytime you're on the water, it's like it's like full back stick. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's a hard, you know, that's probably one of the harder things it is to teach. So you want to try one? Uh, sure. Your aircraft. So I'll do the, the gear is up. It indicates up. Bilge pumps on, landing lights on. Our landing checklist is complete for water and I don't see any wheels in the mirror. And yeah, this up here is good from a wind direction standpoint. Yep. So I'm gonna listen for the radar altimeter. Water landing okay, five, four. Three, two, one. Oh, about to touch. Come on. Here it comes. Be impatient. 
Okay, so these the back. Yep. Okay. Keep the wings level. My wings is what level? A natural. Ah. Beginner's luck. Okay, coming in with some power. Okay. You want to? Yep. A little back stick. Okay. Not yet. Full power. Yep. There you go. There's 45. Start dragging the pick stick back a little bit. Should be airborne here momentarily. There you go. That's interesting because it's there's not a pronounced. I didn't feel a pronounced difference, like on the step, off the step. I guess maybe we're on the step the whole time. Pretty but nice. but uh, when it settles in the water, does is is there much of a of a transition? A transition? No. Yeah. No. It's just if you put the back stick in again, you got all this lift out here, and you're kind of in the ground effect the free regime. Right. So you can get the you can get the skipping, and uh, so it's really I just teach. Hey, once you touch the water, you feel the tick, tick, tick in your butt. Yep. Do something, and normally it's just reduce the power to idle, and then lower the nose, and it'll just settle right in like it did. And yeah, that, that's I guess that's just a, a sort of flying boat technique. It is is, is with the uh, gotcha. Don't mean to reach over, but uh, no, no, go so we've been airborne for 21 minutes. We burned two gallons of gas. We'll get back, and we'll probably have burned three, maybe. Wow, that's quite economical. It is really, and it's car, and we use car gas, so yeah, even better. All right, so I just finished up my introductory flight in the Super Patrel, and boy, it's a, it's quite an airplane. It's totally unusual to have a biplane amphibian, and this one, you know, it's small, but it's quite roomy inside. It's very responsive and well balanced in the controls. And that, uh, that, that 141 horsepower Rotax 915 engine gives it a lots of oomph. You know, the power to weight ratio of, that, the, of this airplane is outstanding. And, uh, in, and we did some, some uh, water takeoffs and landings and some land takeoffs and landings. And, uh, and this is just a really interesting, exciting, fun airplane.